again. This is Priscilla Batzel in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the backyard. I have been playing with ring pours and I am so not done with them because I've discovered a few things that I like to think of as, I don't know, wonderful, basically. And uh, to start with, the more layers I put in, the more different rings I get out because I'm alternating. I'm, I'm utilizing less and less. That's a piece of something I want out of there. And it doesn't matter what goes on there because we'll be painting that black and white anyway. Uh, where was I? <laughs> so I want to use less and less paint in between my rings or each layer I want to be less and less. It's not necessarily going to work the way I expect it to. I'm still learning some things. But if I include white every other ring, then when I use the neons, like the neon folk art, neon purple, and I might not put white in every other ring, sorry I'm focused for a second trying to figure this out, I can't believe I found the one bottle with, <laughs> with the cap still on. might take a minute. We've got an 18 by 24 inch canvas. I want some black in here. I also want some gold in there. I'm thinking about some copper. You can hear the marbles in my bottles when I shake. That mixes the, the contents with the flow troll that rises to the surface from the paint from the bottle sitting. I want some more black some black over there. And I have a whole new idea of what I want to do. And I'll let you know in a minute. I have some of this blue I meant to use instead of the white in between. Because I have a lot of it and I don't use it very often and I should use it more often, but I don't. So, let's do some of that. I'm getting pretty close to where I think I'm going to be done adding stuff. And that would be good because then we might get on with making a painting. I'm glad it's an 18 by 24 because that means that uh, I probably won't waste too much and that would be a good thing. I'd like some of my bottles out of my way because I know I'm going to be turning this. I think. I think I really want to finish the different colors. I can always add colors for my squeeze bottles. And the first color in will be the last color out, or it'll be the edges, but we'll see how that goes. And I'll put those over there where they're safe for now. Hopefully where I can't knock them over. And I will use, ooh, I like double streams. <laughs> Something gets in the tip. Oh, come on. Now is not the time. Really? Well, fortunately, I have <laughs> the perfect tool to spread paint. And I do want a nice thick layer of this. And I was thinking about adding black to it too, but that doesn't seem to be the case right at the moment. I'm having trouble. Never mind. <laughs> this is my OXO omelet turning spatula that spreads paint like a breeze. You can buy them on my Amazon link if you're so in inclined. It helps me out if you buy them there. It doesn't cost you anything extra. And I appreciate the help for sure. I don't have any other income than YouTube, so every little bit counts. So it looks like I do have quite a bit of paint here. Fortunately, this doesn't take as long as conventional ring pours do because I pour a lot of rings and I don't have to make one ring go to all the way to the uh, to every side of the canvas. I don't sometimes I don't mind having a little negative space. I'm thinking because I have so much white paint on that 
things might spread really well because paint flows with paint. And it's a big canvas. And I have glasses on my head and I should use them now while I can see. Oh my, I missed a lot. <laughs> oh, that was bad. Less the spatula and more my eyesight. I am going blind quickly. <laughs> I do have cataracts. I am hoping at some point in time to sell enough artwork through some source, gallery, or merchandise to actually pay for some eye surgery. That would be awesome. So I'll stop seeing six rings around a full moon or six moons, whatever you want to say. So that is a 18 by 24 inch canvas on a 16, uh, 16 by 16 tile. So I'm sorry it took so long to do that. That's going in the bucket. I'm going to start as I expected myself to. I may have more paint than I need. <laughs> but my plan is to arrange these so that they will, the configuration will make a difference when I tip. And I think I would have liked a little more white paint in there. But the gold is coming out now and that's not bothering me. This is definitely an experiment. <laughs> and I said I wanted some white paint and now I can have some if I want it. Maybe even add some where I think I need it. I don't know if I need to go down there. I have enough paint so that I think I'm just going to use it because it will make everything work better. We probably won't see those again. <laughs> it's too bad too because there's some pretty colors in there. But instead of filling in with squeeze bottle colors, I'll just fill in with dots. And then I'm really going to wish I had my paint bottles out of the way because I am going to try and use my new edge catcher on this. Let me introduce you briefly to my Princeton Catalyst Art Tool Spatulas, which are also available on my Amazon link. Probably hidden by the Teespring link, which is showing my clothing line lately, which is t-shirts and I made some awesome leggings, so I hope you check those out. They're, uh, they're super flamboyant, <laughs> to say the least. Sort of like yours truly can be, <laughs> occasionally. You know what? I said I wasn't going to do it, and I want to anyway. I want to add just a little bit. And while we're at it, wow, that just fell right over spontaneously. It must have been uneven. Okay, strangely enough, that's pretty cool actually. I like it. I could just stop now. Put your paint stuff into a bucket of sand if you get an opportunity to not throw it down your, paint, your pipes in your house. You'll thank me later because it does build up on the pipes and you will be paying a plumber to add pipes, clean pipes to your house or route up the old ones or some variation on that theme in any case. Um, I do have, or I did have, yeah, I have a nice clean edge catcher. First, I'm gonna just tip both ways. See what happens that way. And maybe I should just leave that alone. That is so cool. <laughs> I do, I didn't think this through very well. But I guess if I want it to tip that way, in order to stop that paint from rolling. I need to use my edge catcher. It'd be nice if I could show you what I was doing. And then I'll just throw that paint right back on there. And try and come around and do the same thing in the other direction. It's a large canvas. I'm so sorry if I'm out of your view. I'm just gonna keep spreading paint 
in new ways. Let it pool down at the bottom and throw it back on, squeezing it over. Wow, I could just leave that very easily. I think what I'm going to do right now is very cautiously, assuming I can find my spatulas. Where did you go, spatula? You're around here somewhere. I know you are. Okay. So, new spatula. I'm going to grab this paint right here and add some of it to those drippy areas. Because I can. And I hate wasting paint. Whoops. That's too bad. I didn't mean to do that. But that's okay. It'll all come out in the wash. Alright. So, I keep saying alright. Alright, alright. I think that I would like to put some more black in there, to tell you the truth. Yeah. Not unhappy with that. Leading edge. And I could probably drag that somewhere else. This is a whole new gig for me, too. I got six minutes left. Boy, time flies when you're having fun, I'll tell you what. I recommend this multi ring pour technique. It is fun, for sure. I think a smaller edge catcher would have made me happier. You remember, I do have a stretcher bar in the middle of the back of this. I don't know how far out of your line of sight that I'll be. And I don't want to lose too much paint. And I don't know that I really want to change the pattern all that much more. But I do see some really beautiful big cells forming as I do this. And what it makes me think is this area down here that's unfilled in, I will fill in with something. Albert's not responding. <laughs> oh well. I'm going to do what I did before. Whoops. That was not part of the plan. Oh well, at least it's on white paint, which means it can be changed. I'm going to just scoop off the edge catcher paint and throw it right there. And sort of pretend it was supposed to be there all alone, and not worry about it. And this should come right off pretty well. Where's my white white? That is white pearl. Let's get as much of that off as possible. I remember now. This is the one with the plug in the tip. Come on, out you come. Oh really? The one I didn't skewer out. There it is. I swear, I did so many of these today. It took me like two hours to clean my tips. Of course I was making paint at the same time. So, I think because I have a straw. Even though I didn't intend that, I'm not going to worry about it. I'm just going to blow that right over the edge. Since I did that, it sort of made me want to do some more. And we're now covered down there. I think a little more black and I know we're running low on time I think maybe some more black or gold on this side and I'm not sure which or orange how about some orange I kind of like that I think a little more of that isn't going to hurt my feelings a bit use my skewer to sort of whip it into shape That is a very dark orange. That is not really the color I had in mind at all. And I've made that mistake more than once today. That's better. And I like that as well. And just go with the flow and keep the keep the original design that's beautiful. And I can do that because I use GAC 800 by Golden which is supposed to be to keep paint from cracking when it's heavy and uh, it works very well for me in that regard. 
so I use it religiously. I'm having a hard time making up my mind between the gold and the black on the edge down here. But since I have some gold, I think maybe the gold is the ticket. Yeah, that's not hurting my feelings a bit. So let's just do that again. Nope, not hurting my feelings a bit. Okay, so I think we should torch and I should tell you whatever I've forgotten to tell you so far. Starting now, which is if you shop my Amazon link, it helps me out. It's right under the video. The Teespring clothing line I think I mentioned already. We torch to get rid of the bubbles. See if I can get you back in frame and create patterns. Cells form because the pouring medium in paint is a catalyst for patterns being formed when there's a chemical reaction that I don't know anything about, so maybe I shouldn't talk about it. But anyway, this was a lot of fun and I enjoyed myself. I'm not sure what I want to do here. I've got a whole other cup of paint, which means that um, I'll be doing something with that. And I'm thinking that my Princeton Catalyst spatulas, if I wipe them off, won't be too schmutzy. And I can just fill in that gap right there that I'd like to and create some cells. Never bothered me before. I don't mind that. I kind of like that too. I'm going for it. Yup, that's it. That's what I wanted right there. Cool. I feel like getting my way. Really, doesn't everybody? Let's see what happens. That's not bothering me. Just makes me want to do it on the other side. So there are Facebook albums mentioned, volumes one and two, that hold the what I've managed to post and edit photograph-wise from the YouTube artworks. Along with a Pinterest link. Whoops. A Pinterest link and uh, an Instagram link. The paint pouring recipe is inside the video. There's over 300. There's well over 300 videos. 340 most likely. <laughs> I kind of don't mind that either. There's quite a bit of paint there, but I said it wouldn't matter. And I'd like that to be the truth. My air conditioner stopped working because it's not hot enough to run anymore. So my paintings take a while longer to run. I want to thank all my contributors in case you're still here to hear me say thank you and everybody who comments. I love you guys. I appreciate it a lot. And um, and I'm pretty happy with my new play, my new experiments with uh, the multi-ring pour. And I'm sure that it won't be the end of this. I'm sure I'm just going to keep playing. I will see you guys in the next video. There may be a contest if you look for the studio tour. The contest ends midnight December 5th. Ooh. That was me cooking paint. <laughs> Let's not do that. I, kinda, I like that, but I kind of want something in there. So if you come back and see that there's something in there, that's me. Throwing something in there. Yeah, I like that better. Okay, that's that. I don't think you're here anymore. So this is Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida, the Expression Start Studio Gallery in the backyard in case you are. Oh, you are. Let's make sure that you can see everything. Yes, you can. I want to tell you guys I love you, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now. Priscilla out.